Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to do a British snack video part two. I did part one a while ago and I will leave that up here in case you haven't watched it yet. But a lot of you seem to like it, so I thought I would go ahead and film a part two. So all of the snacks and tea that I will be trying today, I actually found in New York City. Um, there was a British shop there that I just ran into by coincidence and I went inside and I picked out a few goodies to try for you today. So let's go ahead and get started. So first up, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. So in the last video, I tried Tetley tea and a lot of you said that I should try Yorkshire, Yorkshire, not sure which way to pronounce it. Let me know in the comments if it's Yorkshire or Yorkshire. Um, but I went ahead and bought some since a lot of you recommended it. So let me go ahead and make that first. So this tea has been around since 1886 and it's an ethical black tea and this one is by appointment to HRH, the Prince of Wales. Um, in the last video, a lot of items I bought were an appointment to the Queen, which I thought was really cool, but this one's actually... Um, an appointment to the Prince of Wales, so that is pretty cool. It has the marking it has the marking right here So I'm gonna go ahead and let this brew for a little bit I did follow the instructions and it said to brew it at hundred degrees Celsius Which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit, so I'm gonna let this sit for a second so the first item that I'm going to try is the Sorin malt loaf. Um, so yeah, I have never heard of this before. Um, there were two Scottish ladies working at the shop. I think one of them must have owned it. Um, and she said that this is really good with butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and try some. Let me cut a little slice. So I'm gonna put some butter on it. I've got my butter on it. Mmm. Mmm. It's actually really good. Mmm. It's actually very chewy for a loaf. Mm. The outside is like a bit, I guess I would say crispy-ish. So it's a nice like little bit of crispiness to it and very nice and chewy. And the butter on top of it is excellent. It is so good together. Um, let me take another bite. Mm. It's a perfect combination. This is delicious. Okay, so this is really, really good. I really like this one. This would be perfect for a snack or for breakfast. Very, very good. And also, it says deliciously squidgy energy. Oh yeah, okay. So it gives you energy, it's vegan, and it's low fat and a good source of fiber. And it tastes delicious. So this is really, really good. Really like that. All right, let's get back to the tea before I try the rest of the items here. I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar. Well, 
a little bit more than a little bit. I kind of like a lot of sugar. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll start with two scoops and see how that goes. And then I don't really use normal milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some oat milk. One of you in the comments was wondering in the last video why I put honey in my tea. <laughs> Um, yeah, that is a thing here. Uh, put honey in coffee or tea. It's just like a healthier version of sugar, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, honestly, I prefer the taste of just normal sugar in my tea or coffee. All right, so let me go ahead and try the tea with sugar and milk. Mm. All right. Mmm. Yeah, I can tell there's a difference between this one and Tetley. Um. Actually, I think this one is a little bit better than the Tetley tea that I tried in the last video. Tetley was really good too, but actually this one tastes like a little bit better quality. I don't know, there's something different about it that tastes like a little bit better. That's really good. That is like, that's a good cup of tea. All right, so I'm gonna try next. One of you in the last video actually recommended this one as well. Um, which is hobnobs. Um, I tried some other kind of biscuits in the last video and you guys said that I should try these. So I found these at the store in New York and they had um, just the normal ones, the plain ones. They had dark chocolate and then the lady that runs the shop said that milk chocolate is her favorite. So let's give that a try. It looks really good. <laughs> Let's see, before I open it, it's, let's see, the Odie one, milk chocolate. Okay, baked with 100% whole grain oats. No artificial colors or flavors. All right. I love chocolate and yeah, you can see like a little bit of some melted chocolate. Here's what they look like when you open the package. Ah, it okay, it's like a little like an oat cookie. Here's the back of it. Mmm, okay. Mmm. Does it have peanut butter? It's actually better than I thought it was gonna be. By the looks of it, I thought that it was gonna be like really heavy. But actually, this is really light. Like the, the oat cookie itself is really light and it has like a super light layer of chocolate and it's not heavy tasting at all. Mmm. It's a very nice, oaty, light milk chocolate flavor. Mmm. That's really good. I would definitely eat a lot of those in, in one sitting. Mm. Let me dip one in the tea and see how that tastes together.
If any of you haven't tried this, that are watching, when you try it, dip it in some tea. It's really good. Mmm. <laughs> that was delicious. All right, so next up, I'm going to try McVitie's. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Let me know. <laughs> um, McVitie's Club Orange. So the lady at the shop said that these are a classic biscuit um, and that everyone knows these pretty much. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and give these a try. They are a milk chocolate covered crunchy biscuit with an orange flavored cream. Um, it's, I wanted to know if you guys can go ahead and let me know in the comments. Um, is chocolate with orange a really popular combination over there? Because I feel like I've seen a lot of chocolate orange flavored biscuits or chocolates um, from the UK. So yeah, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious about that. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it comes, they all come um, packaged separately. And it looks like this. Just a cute little simple orange label. All right, it says club on it. That's really cute. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Hmm. That's actually really different. I wasn't expecting <clears throat> that flavor like at all. I wasn't sure what I was expecting. I don't really eat a lot of like orange flavored <laughs> chocolates. But even before you bite it, you can smell the orange. And then when you bite into it, it's just like a crunchy biscuit. And the chocolate is very nice. It's not like overwhelming or anything. It's like the perfect amount of chocolate to cover the biscuit. It's actually a really nice combination. As I'm eating it more, I'm getting more used to it already. <laughs> mm. Let me dip some in some tea as well. All right. Mm. <laughs> It melts pretty quick. <laughs> mm. When you dip it in there, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot better. It was a pretty good biscuit, I think. Mm. I like the hobnobs better than these ones so far, just because there's no like extra flavor to it. It's just chocolate and and biscuit. So well, that's actually really good, though. So the last thing I'm gonna try are these Cadbury Dairy Milk Fingers. The ladies in the shop also recommended this one as well and said they're really good. So this one is a simple milk chocolate biscuit. Come in a container like this on the inside. They're actually smaller than I thought. They're pretty cute <laughs> in their size. So it looks like this. It's yeah, basically the size of my finger, but skinnier. So it's a little biscuit. Mmm.
The texture is actually really good. It kind of tastes like an American chocolate that we have here. Um, not like a Kit Kat, but I, I forgot the name of what it was. <laughs> um, but it kind of has like a similar um, biscuit texture like this one. Let me dip it in some tea. I'm not sure if you guys dip this in tea as well, but it says biscuit, so. <laughs> mm. That's really, really good. So that was everything. Overall, it was a really good haul and I liked everything that I tried. My favorites are for sure the hobnobs. These are absolutely delicious and I will be watching Love Island UK while eating these. This is going to be the perfect snack to watch that show too. And then the tea was delicious and I was pretty surprised by the Soreen malt loaf. That was good as well. For the club orange and the fingers, these were also really good, um, but it wasn't like wow as much as the hobnobs were. So I would definitely repurchase the hobnobs for myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.